as Galileo Galilei once said, Nature is written in mathematical language. Now, join me in my blog to learn more about math in nature. Let's go! Hi, I'm Urban Wendell Aguado. Nothing in nature happens without a reason. All of these patterns have an important reason to exist and they also happen to be beautiful to watch. Symmetry A lemon is symmetrical because if you cut it in half, it will have the same shape and size. Now, let's go find the lemon in our house. Hi, this is a lemon. When I cut this in half, it will be the same size as the other half. Now, let's see if it is symmetrical. Let's go. I am done cutting the lemon. Now, it is symmetrical. Some flowers has petals that appear in a pattern that is based on the Fibonacci sequence. I have found this flower in our garden. This is called Arau Arau. It has five petals. And uh, let's go find more. This is a gumamela. Uh, it has five petals and its petals are based on the Fibonacci sequence 5. There is one more flower in our garden and this one is called the golden shrimp. This golden shrimp has 21 petals on it. Fractals are objects in which the same patterns occur again and again in different scales and sizes. Uh, let's go around our house and find if there are any fractals around here. One example of fractals in nature is leaves. Uh, there are so many leaves in our garden so we have chose the leaves of the golden shrimp. Here are the Patterns of the golden shrimp. Uh, another fractal in our garden is the leaves of the bougainvillea plant. Uh, this is the pattern of the bougainvillea plant leaves. 